Hey Dragonfly Swarm, so I've been thinking a lot about what Ito and Goro might mean for the state of Genshin Impact in 2.3 and I wanted to do a bit of speculation today to discuss why I think the next patch of Genshin will bring about massive changes to how many players view Geo as an element. But before that though, if you like this video you should totally subscribe because it helps with the algorithm thingy or so they say. Let's first talk about Goro and my thoughts on his impact in the game. Goro is an upcoming Geo bow user and I'm going to be very blunt when I say bow users are typically very bad at being straight up damage dealers, unless your name is Ganyu or Yoimiya. But even even then, they have gimmicks that revolve around their elements. Goro, however, has no form of elemental gimmicks because his element doesn't create offensive reactions. And being a bow user, he himself is quite unlikely to be some sort of main DPS. What makes him even more unlikely to be a main DPS, however, is the fact that he's coming out in the same patch as Ito, and therefore I'd say it's way more likely that he'll act as some sort of sub DPS or support designated for Geo characters. I could be wrong, but I don't think Mihoyo will have made him a main DPS. Beyond that, in the story, Goro has a very supportive and team based personality given his status as an acting general of the resistance, and we've seen him act much like the opposition of Sara, a 4-star Electro Bow user who happens to be a major buffer for Electro characters. See what I'm getting at here? If you want to go strictly by lore, Goro could basically end up being the Geo version of Sara, a damage buffer and utility character that massively enhances Geo damage. And what makes this idea even more likely is that there are currently zero Geo supports in the game that aren't limited 5-star characters, which makes Geo essentially useless to anyone who doesn't want to invest in Ningguang or Noel, and doesn't have either Albedo or Zhongli. While Geo Traveler isn't necessarily bad, they're not good, and their ability to support your Geo main DPS is subpar at best. Any Geo Traveler mains out there, I am sorry. Please don't kill me. But the idea that I'm getting at here is that assuming Goro is a 4 star, he could end up being the very first Geo utility character that's accessible to all players old and new on any banner. This alone would massively increase the amount of players that build Geo centric teams even if they don't end up pulling for Ito who I assume will be a main DPS for a lot of reasons but if you want more in depth info on that I'll link that video below. All of this together would mean that you could viably run Ningguang or Noel as strong main DPS characters with a brand new and very accessible Geo support character, Goro, making Geo itself more flexible and less expensive to invest in. As for Ito's impact on the game, I think it'll be huge as well, not just because everyone is simping for him and somehow making him more popular than Raiden though, but because as a main DPS and a support element, I'm assuming he's gonna run something like Xiao. You see, Xiao is an S tier main DPS who possesses an element that he actually doesn't make use of, like, at, at all. As an Animo DPS, he doesn't need to swirl other elements, and all Animo does is swirl. <laughs> so he makes up for his inability to use reactions by having extremely high scaling, the ability to work with just about any supports since he doesn't need to worry about reactions, and most importantly a gimmick to his playstyle. Assuming Ito is a main DPS, he's in the exact same metaphorical boat as Xiao. He cannot make use of reactions to increase his damage output and therefore might be compensated with big scaling, the ability to work with many strong support characters, and he might have some sort of gimmick to his playstyle that allows him to deal massive raw damage without the need for reactions. And this kind of ties into Goro as well, because if we make the assumption that Goro is a Geo version of Sara based on the lore and the previous history of Geo characters, he could massively buff Ito's own damage considering Ito's damage as a main DPS would be entirely raw with no reactions. But what does this all mean for Geo as a whole? Well, Geo has always been considered a support element given it has no offensive reactions, and all of your 5 star options are support and utility characters. But with Goro coming to the game, if he does end up being some sort of Geo utility slash buffer character, it'll allow many players, especially free to play, to consider investing in Geo's high damage potential with Geo Resonance, using DPS units like Ningguang or Noel, who both have surprisingly high damage potential even now. And then as for Ito, his impact wouldn't be quite as large scale as Goro's could be, assuming he's a DPS unit, but if he is a 5 star, and I'm assuming he is since he's holding a never before seen giant spicy corn dog weapon that could potentially be a new 5 star weapon, he would be Geo's very first 5 star DPS that could make full use of the huge damage potential that comes from Geo resonance. So all in all, there's a lot coming to the table for Geo enthusiasts and even players who just want to try different playstyles in Genshin and get a breath of fresh air. Because Geo is an element that wasn't technically designed initially to run as a main element, but here we are. And if my speculations are at least 40% accurate, there's going to be a lot of cool things coming to the game for the Geo element that allows massive flexibility, accessibility, and damage ability, if that's even a word. But yeah, that's all from me, because now I gotta go farm for Rock Team. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like it, feel free to subscribe or join my Discord server or follow my Twitch channel, because I stream almost every night around 7pm EST. All those links are down below, and now I really gotta go farm, because I have a problem. Goodbye.